Education Secretary will meet with union leaders on Wednesday morning as she claims that she's willing to talk to teachers about money, but stops short of uh, promising to renew pay. So joining me now is head teacher at LBS in Ascot, Christine Caniff. Uh, hello, Christine. Thank you very much for joining me. So, Christine, are, you're part of the head teachers. Now, head teachers haven't gone on strike. They voted not to go on strike. Uh, why did they vote not to go on strike? Was there, and and what, what were the numbers? Were, were there any percentages? <laughs> Well, I think the majority of head teachers want to be in school for the children. We've just come out of a pandemic and it's really important that we're here for them. This is probably the first clear year since, uh, you know, COVID and all the disruption. We're coming into the exam time again and we need to be here. Plus, you know, our parents need to go to work. So we ju we've just got to get on and do it, basically. Mm. So well, what's your view then of the teachers who are striking? I mean, I, obviously, I, I'm, I'm not asking you to, to be you know, insulting towards them, but I'm just saying, what is your view? Do you feel that they are legitimately uh, in their right to strike? I mean, they seem, they, they seem to have a relatively good pay structure as far as I can see, but I get it that we need more teachers, but I'm not sure that's the way to go about it. What's your, your view on it? Well, I'm totally empathetic. You know, we've, we've got a, a huge cost of living crisis. We've got young people who can't afford houses. We've got children coming out with degrees with, with debt. We've got teachers and nurses coming in on a pay scale where they can't afford to live. And, you know, uh, Rishi Sunak would like more maths teachers and teach, you know, maths to 18, 19. But we cannot recruit already. And as the, you know, the General Secretary, the NEU said, we are in crisis recruitment crisis. We cannot get teachers now. There's something has to be done. So it's a broader picture. I see. So, so in a sense, are you sort of in favour of them striking? I'm not in favour of striking because I, I do believe we have to be here for the children. Yeah. But we have to be heard. You know, and, you know, in an ideal world, it'd be great for all of it, you know, especially the young people to get the above inflation pay rise. But we're just coming out of COVID where the country's been propped up by furlough and there's a price to pay for that. And we're going for a really difficult time. You know, it, I don't know what the answer is, but, you know, we have to be here for the children. The children come first. And briefly, your thoughts on the anti-strike legislation, the government insisting that we need minimum levels of, of service if people want to strike. That's fine, but we need those. Do you think that's a, a fair... A uh, fair thing to ask for. I don't think there should be legislation because I do believe we're a democratic country. We should be very proud of that and we should have a voice. But at the same time, in sectors, we have to look after the vulnerable people. And that includes children and looking after people who need the public sector. There's no real answer. But what's the very strong message is we're in crisis, all of us, and something needs to be done. All right. Well, listen, Christine, thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me. Uh, Christine.